Hi there Star Wars Collectors and welcome to another Boss Bounty video and welcome to episode 121 of Ask Boss Bounty. This is the weekly series that drops every Sunday where I answer your questions from the comment section below. So if you do have a question for next week's episode, please leave it in the comment section and hopefully you'll be featured. If you do happen to enjoy this week's episode, please drop a like down below because it really does help the video and the channel. And we're going to get straight onto this week's questions. David Stevens says, Hi Tim, great content as always. Keep up the good work, my friend. Question for next week. Which of the 11 Star Wars films do you feel is the most underrepresented in the Vintage Collection line? And could you name the figures that you would really like to see from that particular film? Well, David, I've done a little bit of a count up for you so we can go through how many figures are in the line from each film. And this basically doesn't include reissues or anything. I've tried to exclude anything that's like like an exclusive, like Jar Jar Binks in Carbonite, things like that, they don't count. So we have 17 The Phantom Menace, 14 from Attack of the Clones, 16 from Revenge of the Sith, 24 from A New Hope, 23 from The Empire Strikes Back, 46 from The Return of the Jedi, four from The Force Awakens, five from The Last Jedi, seven from The Rise of Skywalker, five from Solo, 13 from Rogue One, and 23 from the Mandalorian. Now I know the Mandalorian isn't one of the 11 films, but I thought I'd just add it on there just to show you the stark difference between a successful TV show and three films which, let's face it, did split the fandom of Star Wars. So we've got four Force Awakens, five Last Jedi, and seven The Rise of Skywalker. So that's nine, that's 16 figures compared to 23 Mandalorian. So 16 figures from three films three blockbuster films versus 23 figures from a Disney Plus TV show, which is going to be in its third season. So it's quite amazing, really, when you look at it like that. Now, going back to your original question, when you look at that, the most underrepresented is The Force Awakens with four. However, Solo is a close second with five. Now, that is the one that I would probably concentrate on. I think Solo is definitely underrepresented. I know some people didn't like the film. I happen to really enjoy that film and I think we just need the main characters from that film we need Rio we need Val we need Beckett we need Dryden Voss there's there's countless others that I can think of you've got like Mud Troopers and Han Solo in Mud Trooper there's so many so many cool figures from Solo which I would absolutely love in the vintage collection and hopefully one day they'll look back and do some of them. Tony J says, great video as always, question for next week. What were the top five figures of your SWTVC March Madness list? PS, I had Garen Dan as 23 on my list, so he was on there, just too low to help get him onto the bracket. Yeah, that was a big shame. I would have loved Garen Dan in the bracket myself, as you know. Um, my list of top five, so I had number one as Garen Dan. I had number two as Black Chrysanthemum. I had number three as Paz Vizsla, which is the heavy armored Mandalorian. I had number four as A New Hope, Luke Skywalker, and I had number five as A New Hope, Han Solo. So that was my top five. Now, unfortunately, I think the only one left in the bracket is the Black Chrysanthemum. I think I'll have to double check who's in the last eight. But yeah, let's just say it hasn't gone too well for my particular list. Gabe Saria says, question for Ask Boss Bounty. Do you think the Vintage Collection Clone Troopers will ever get out of their skinny jeans phase? Uh, yeah, the less said about that, the better, my friend. Nick Kampf says, what is the next figure you personally would want to see reissued? For me, it would be the Rebel Commando, or they could do a four pack like the Fleet Troopers and Stormtroopers. That is a great shout. The Rebel Commando from the Return of the Jedi is, is a great figure. And yeah, you could definitely put lots of different heads and what have you on that and create a few different versions of him in a four pack. That'd be brilliant. In terms of single carded re-releases, I would have said Weequay. He was the one that I did support when they did that vote thing that, uh, who won that? The Republic Trooper ended up winning that one, didn't it? I really wanted Weequay, but I don't really need Weequay anymore because I did manage to pick him up uh, from my loose collection. So I'm reasonably happy with that one now. So I'll probably move on to Nikto because once again, I have Nikto on card, but I don't have the Nikto as a loose figure and it is a really nice skiff guard and I like the aliens and I like Return of the Jedi. So yeah, I'd go with Nikto. Leonardo Ochoa Ruiz says, hi mate, question, are you into autographed figures? Do you have any? If not, which figure signed by who will you wish to have? So I wouldn't say that I'm massively into them, but going to a few different toy fairs and things over the last couple of years, I have managed to pick up a few. Um, I only have two. This is the first one I have, it's Yak Face. So this is Sean Crawford who played Yak Face. He was at the uh, most recent Echo Live event. 
Um, the next one's this April, actually, in a couple of weeks, which is going to be good. But yeah, the most recent one, end of last year, I managed to pick that up. I also managed to meet Tim Rose and got a Admiral Akbar uh, carded figure signed as well. So I met him at the May the Toys Be With You exhibition, the toy exhibition. He was there signing, so I got him to sign that. And uh, I can't show you that one because I got it graded. I think it scored a, an, an 85, but I, it's in a box at the moment until I've got room to display it. Cap Wolf Photo says, Hi Tim, question for next week. Do you have any recommendations for collectors who are new to TVC for getting some of the older figures without breaking the bank? Well, unfortunately, a lot of the older figures are expensive these days. However, the best thing that you could do is avoid eBay and get onto some of the collector sites on Facebook. The Vintage Collection Facebook group that my friend John Miko is an admin of, you know, people put sales posts up on there all the time. And I think they try to keep them sort of collector friendly prices, but saying that you're still gonna be paying quite a lot of money for some of the rarer figures from TVC 1.0. But that is the best advice I can give you really is avoid eBay. However, keep an eye on eBay because sometimes you can get a bargain, but in general, people that put things up for buy it now on eBay the, the prices are just ridiculous. Superfry401 says, Yo boss, question for next week. What do you think the chances are we'll ever see a 187th Legion in the vintage collection or any scale? Maybe with removable helmets and maybe throw the purple on the Arc Trooper repaint. It's pretty easy for Hasbro to do. And also Lego is releasing a set with the 187th Legion. So the license is still being used since the old 2006 battle pack. But love the videos, man, and keep up the awesome content. So yeah, I mean, first off, I would absolutely love for them to do the 187th. I just love clone troopers, as you know. I would be a bit fearful that they would use the skinny clone for that one again, um, which would, you know, that's another conversation entirely. But this is this is the set here. You've got the uh, two regular clone troopers and the airborne trooper style. And then you've got uh, Mace Windu. Now this Mace Windu isn't the one that came in the pack. That's just the one that I use. This is the 3.75 inch black series version. The base window that you got in this set is, is not a great figure. It's quite old. As you say, the battle pack came out in what, 2006. So I've always used this mace window to go with these three. However, since the reissue of the vintage collection one, here we have the new mace window. And since opening that figure, it's apparent that basically this one is just a complete repaint of this one. When you open up, um, his cloak there or his robe. They're exactly the same figure, um, except for the arms, because obviously he's got the armor on his arms. Um, in terms of the body and the legs and everything, they're exactly the same, which means, and somebody did ask me to do this, you could do a head swap. So you've got this new sort of photo reel deco head for Mace Windu, and it's gonna use exactly the same joint as the Clone Wars version. So we can just pop that off there. Stick it on there, and there we go. And if you can see that, we have the uh, 3.75 inch black series Mace Windu, but with the vintage collection head with the photo reel. And it does look a bit better. Logic Blaster says, excellent episode question. Do you think Hasbro will do a version of Cobb Vanth with his speeder? The one that has the modified pod racer engine. Personally, I'd love to see that. Absolutely, I would equally love to see that. I thought that was an absolutely awesome design for a speeder. Essentially, as you say, it's just one engine of a pod racer with like a seat next to it. And that was just, it looked really cool. In terms of Cobb Vanth for the vintage collection, I think it's one of those ones that we can definitely expect it at some point. I'm not too sure if we're going to be getting it this year. I don't think looking at what figures are coming and what I know about that's coming, I really don't think that's um, going to happen this year. You never know, it might do because it could use a lot of parts of uh, some of the other figures like Boba Fett, obviously, because he wears the same armor. In terms of the speeder, I don't know, man. Vehicles seem to be few and far between in the vintage collection. And yeah, I just don't know what to say about that. We'd, I just don't think it'll happen, if I'm honest. Oh, and by the way, just in case anybody's wondering why I have these two particular figures at the back here. Um, if you haven't already seen my video, I do have the latest wave of the reissue figures. And the best thing about them is that they use the new cardstock. So if you haven't checked out those videos, have a look on there. The cardstock, it feels so good in hand compared to what we've been getting. And it's you know, just about time. Jesse Morales says, hey boss, love your videos. Next week, I'd like to know what your opinion is on the Grand Inquisitor in the Kenobi series. I see a lot of people are upset about the recent alien designs in the live action shows like Cad 
Bane. So first of all, I had no issues with Cad Bane and the way he looked whatsoever in the book of Boba Fett. I, I thought he looked really, really cool. And of course, characters are going to look a bit different to what they look like in a animated cartoon. It's just fact. Now, I do understand what people are saying about the Grand Inquisitor, that his head shape's a little bit different because we have had his race of people before already in live action. We had them in Revenge of the Sith, didn't we? At what, Utapau, I think it was. So I can understand that. Having said that, I really don't think it makes too much difference. I still think he looked pretty cool and I cannot wait for the Obi-Wan series. I've got to say that trailer blew me away. I thought it looked cinematic quality and I just cannot wait for it. B Brigman has another question about Inquisitors here and he says, with Inquisitors in the new Obi-Wan show, how long do you think it will be before we see Inquisitor action figures? And since they will probably be doing the Inquisitors, do you think Hasbro will give us any of the other characters from Rebels? Well, if I'm honest, I don't think you'll have to wait too long for an Inquisitor. I, you know, I think it's pretty obvious that we're gonna be getting some Obi-Wan figures in the vintage collection this year. The retro collection wave was kind of leaked or rumored that that's coming. And if they're gonna be doing a retro collection, you can bet your bottom dollar, we're gonna get some in the vintage collection. Now, I think you could probably guarantee that we'd get Obi-Wan, seeing as the star of the show and it's named after him. But after that, he's gonna need some sort of enemies, isn't he? And I can only think of maybe one of the Inquisitors, the Grand Inquisitor, possibly Darth Vader, but I can't see that because we've already had a Darth Vader quite recently. But you never know, Hasbro do like getting the main characters out there. But I don't think we're going to have to wait too long for those characters, um, you know, in another wave's time, perhaps. Does that mean we'll get more from Rebels? I don't think so. I think we're going to have to wait until the other Rebels are in live action. A couple of them are going to be in the Ahsoka series, for example. We'll probably have to wait until then. And there's a fairly similar question from This Is No Cave. And he's basically saying, you know, the SWTVC bracket tournament on Instagram had a lot of Rebels characters that did quite well in it. And you know, can I see them being put into the vintage collection? And he talks about the Inquisitors being in Obi-Wan and what have you. And, you know, it's the same answers that I just said before. I think when you think about Rebels, I mean, what when did that air? 2014? The vintage collection wasn't even around then. And vintage collection came back in, what, 2018, I think it was? Way after Rebels. So I, I know they've been in the Black Series and people have said, but they've done Clone Wars figures. Well, we had season seven of Clone Wars in 2020. And I think, you know, there was a lot of decent scenes in there. We've got some decent characters from season seven of the Clone Wars. So it it was current. Rebels is no longer current, unfortunately. And as I said, I think to get those figures, we're going to have to wait for them to be in live action. Ryan Burns says, do you think Hasbro will ever release the Clatoonian Raider that came with the ATST Raider on a Mandalorian car back? They obviously already have the mold and, you know, it would sell your thoughts. So I personally think that this is the most likely figure that we've ever had in a vehicle to get released in outside of that vehicle, if you like. He didn't come on his own card back. And I think, as you say, it would be very easy for them to do. And it's an awesome figure as well. It is a bit of a kit bash from uh, Weequay. Definitely shares the same body with some extra sculpting on top of it. Um, may even share the same legs, I don't know. But, um, you know, it is a bit of a kit bash, Kithaba's head possibly. Um, but it is a really nice figure. And yeah, it would be very easy for them to do. And because he never came on a card back, uh, unlike Merrick and some of the others, this has a lot more chance, I would say, of being released outside of that vehicle. Brent Kincaid says, best wishes to the whole boss clan, long time watcher, first time commenter. I really enjoy your videos. Question for next week. What are your top three card backs and bottom three card backs for the whole vintage collection? Also, do you think we'll get a Luke as a child figure as seen in the Kenobi trailer? So I'll answer the second part of that question first with, regarding Luke Skywalker. I think ultimately it d depends on how much we see him in the show. And I've got a feeling we won't see him too much. I mean, you saw him in the trailer through his binoculars or whatever. And... I think the series is going to be more about Kenobi maybe going off world from Tatooine, having to do different things. And ultimately, I think Luke Skywalker is just, you know, we know he's there. We know that's his job to look after him. Perhaps maybe he's getting the danger away from Luke Skywalker by leaving Tatooine for a bit, possibly. That's my theory on it. So I don't think we'll get a figure if that's the case. But, you know, if he's in it a lot, which I doubt, then we would possibly get a figure you know in terms of my card backs wow that's you know top three and top worst it's very difficult to think of them right now i mean you've got ones like cody and Django fett are very good luke skywalker jedi really nice card backs 
I'm trying to think of some others right now. I, I, I can't at the moment. The new Stormtrooper from The Empire Strikes Back in that carbon freezing chamber. That's a beautiful card back. That's one that's really grown on me. Um, some of the worst uh, have got to be like the Pod Racer. Pod Racer gang. Really poor card backs in my opinion. And uh, Quinlan Voss is a bit of a boring card back as well. Matthew Martin says, great episode again. Question for next week. Will we see any of the Rogue One tank related figures re-released? They are near impossible to get hold of and very pricey. Yeah, it's a funny one, that one, because in the UK, the uh, trooper, not the commander, the trooper, he ended up at the entertainer for like five pounds. And I picked up, you know, a couple of those extras. And but you're right. Since then, they are like 30, 40 pounds over here, but even more in the US. Now, I think it's likely that that would be one that they would re-release because they did put him in the fan vote up against the uh, eventual winner and Wee Quay and things like that. He was one of those, which I was quite shocked about because it's a fairly new figure, right? So why would they do that? But I think they realise that possibly that one's reasonably rare, hard to get hold of. And so, yeah, in the future, I, I would say that's one they would revisit. All right, then, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. This was episode 121 of Ask Boss Bounty. This series has been going and going, and it's awesome. I love doing this series. I love answering your questions. So if you do have a question for next week's episode, please leave them in the comment section below. And as I mentioned before, if you do happen to like this video, drop a like down below. Subscribe if you're new. Thank you to my Patreon supporters and channel members. As always, your support is incredible. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Yeah.